Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for letting me be here today on our third painting of the Battle of the Alamo. Now, if you want to follow along, you're going to need these colors down here. here. Just these ones. So, now, to get started, we're going to take our general colonization light tan, and we're just going to put it all around this area. So when Mexico gained its independence from Spain, in 1824 they enacted this law which enabled people regardless of race or immigrant status to claim land in Mexico. Now that Mexico is selling their land to many people, America is obviously going to want to move down there. Now we're going to take our American migration blue and put it all over the sky to represent America coming to Texas. When America moved to Mexico, they saw how much they could profit off their cotton industry. But when they saw how much work they'd have to do to get the money, they thought, nah, man. And they used slaves instead, but Mexico abolished that already in their nation. Now, as you might have noticed, I messed up on the blue. I've added way too much water. But this is paint. It's pretty permanent, and I cannot erase. But you know what? I do not care. Because this is life. And now we will put some more detail into this. Now we're going to paint some happy little clouds in this terrible disastrous moment. So we're going to load up our brush in some dark gray and we'll get started. So this vicious battle was between 800 Mexican troops and 200 American troops. Though America was vastly overpowered, with their 200 soldiers, they were able to hold off Mexico for 13 days until Mexican forces eventually took back the Alamo. Even though America lost to Mexico, the Alamo was a symbol of courage and, still, and was still considered a huge win for America. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a great representation of the terrible disaster we like to call the Battle of the Alamo. Thank you so much for being with me here today, and I'll see you next time. God bless.